Hello world, we're back with what sold on eBay. That is right, 20 items, real items, not those fakes, not counterfeits, real items that sold on eBay. Some good, some bad, some ugly, some fantastic, some really ugly. <laughs> we'll just jump right in. We got these Merrill Continuum Pursuit ventilator shoes. I love Merrill shoes. They just don't fit me right, so I don't wear them anymore. I wish they made a 12 and a half. Where are you at, Merrill? Make a 12 and a half. But anyway, I got these for just a couple bucks. Uh, been so long, I can't remember, honestly. <laughs> uh, didn't have much in them. Had them listed up, you know, for a decent price in the 30s. Kept dropping the price, dropping the price. Had best offer on. Got down to 27.32, and somebody hit me up with the best offer of 20 bucks, and I accepted. Time to move them on, get rid of them, get out of my bins, shoes. We don't want you around here anymore. See ya. Next up, another one of these Dritz cover button kits. These were literally in a bag of junk, and they were just there. I was like, huh, oh, wonder if these will bring anything. So I listened them up, and yeah, they bring some pretty good money. Had three of them, sold two of them. Now this is the second one. Uh, $9.99, that's what they sold for, $9.99 plus shipping. So yeah, easy, free, almost like free 30 bucks in a bag of stuff you weren't really actually going after. So that's pretty cool. These were not so cool two pack number 60 hp pink this stuff was around forever actually these were on the borderline of a little bit too old they expired february 2013 my rule is five years and newer but i had these so long now it's like six years so <laughs> took a while uh these got down to 1788 with lowering the prices and that's what they sold for full asking 1788 plus shipping yeah buddy these Magiani, Ma Maganani, Magnani, may I don't speak Italian. What's up? <laughs> I'm pretty sure they're Magnani. Uh, extra large, extra light, casual lace up shoe. I got these for uh, three, four bucks, something like that. They've been around for quite a while and uh, had them listed for pretty high. Uh, these new, these things are just outrageous, really expensive. They're just way up there. These got down to 39.35. And that's what somebody paid full asking 39.95 plus shipping and these went to the global shipping program so yeah somebody wanted them some shoes gotta have the shoes the shoes whoo blast from the past had this thing around for about 20 years it seems like awful picture back there see my old setup with crap in the background i think i was going for junk chic in the background of my photos you know but it didn't really work uh this George Strait team roping shirt had it listed for $9.99. That's what it got down to, essentially. If you go and watch my live video I did this morning about strategies on eBay, you'll see that once something hits $9.99, I usually cut it off at that. No lower than that. Had to go lower than that, I redonate it, get rid of it. But that's this one, that's what this one sold for. $9.99 plus shipping. And got these lovejoy sleeves this were these were out of an industrial buyout i did a long time ago and uh, these have just been hanging around for a while i had uh, four of them and luckily they got down to 9.99 each and somebody bought all four of them for a total of 39.96 plus shipping nice out of my bins because they were rather bulky they were about seven inches around or so and uh yeah glad those are gone Next up, a Chrono Cross PlayStation 1 game. This thing was complete with the insert. The discs were in very good condition. Can't put a number what I paid up for these because I got this in the video game lot. But it wasn't very much in the grand scheme of things, like less than a dollar. Yeah, both the discs there took photos of the back. Very nice condition. Yeah, had it listed up for $28.88. And that's what it sold for. Full asking plus shipping. Heading out the door super quick. This sold pretty doggone quick. Next up, this Resist All Rodeo. Another who blast from the past forever junk chic mic photo company. Extraordinary Inc. LLC. And uh, this Resist All Rodeo gear cowboy heavy leather denim jacket. Yeah, it was heavy duty. This was really nice actually if you're into the, the rodeo stuff. Sorry, dog flipping out behind me. And uh, yeah, uh, just paid our normal 350 five bucks or so for this. And 
Uh, kept lowering the price, got down to 3101 and somebody shot an offer of $27, and I accepted. I'll take a $27 offer in the middle of summer for a jacket. Sure. You go on with your bad self. Another one of the Foot Joy bags. I've sold a lot of these well into the profit on these things. I'm still lowering the prices on them just to move out the last few I have. And down to $41.15, someone shot me an offer of $35.00 plus shipping and I accepted out the door one more time the who Tommy on Broadway see me feel me touch me heal me yeah this was a pretty cool jacket this thing had no comps so um, I listed this initially for super high and kept lowering kept lowering and no one has shown any interest I'm kind of surprised um, pretty rare jacket but no interest at all uh, got down to 99.62, and someone uh, shot me an offer of fifty dollars, and I went ahead and accepted. You know, I only paid about seven fifty for this or so, five seven fifty something like that, and yeah, get it out the door while the getting's good. Since no one was showing interest, hey, you can take what you can get, right? Next up, these Matchbox Tyco Skybuster set. These are from 1995, brand new in the package. I only paid about five bucks for these. And I uh, had them for a little while, uh, several months, and uh, kept lowering the price down. And this was a weird one, too. And I think this this was a weird situation. And I want to talk about this a little bit. Bear with me. Uncle Mike story time as the dogs dance behind me. So I had these listed for 31 33 And somebody made an offer over asking. It wasn't much over asking, but they offered $32. And that makes you go, hmm. You know, makes you scratch your head. Is this a scam or what, what is going on here? And so I hopped online like anyone would do. And I searched the forums and the boards and, you know, everything like that. And there was no real good explanation. But as I thought about it, something hit me. This sold through the global shipping program. So whoever bought this, wherever they live, they may have just been. It may have been a uh, exchange rate thing. You know, it may have been X amount in their dollars and they just put in some flat amount or something. Could have been something weird with that. But since it was a global shipping program, there was no danger to me. Because once I deliver it to Kentucky and they send it on, it's out of my hands. It's gone. It's, you know, I'm done with it. So, yeah. It was just a little bit weird. So it sold for actually for $32 plus shipping. <laughs> Pretty weird. Next up, the floppy disks. Don't mistreat your five and a quarter floppy disks. The Sertron MD2D RT34R2D2. Yeah, brand new sealed in package. I pick these up when I find them. If you can find these for just a couple bucks, they will sell. They will be long tail, but they will sell. Like I said, there's, you know, I picked up some three and a half inch floppies in my last haul video. Uh, the five and a quarters are actually a little bit more difficult to find because they're older, but uh, if you find them, good price especially sealed pick them up oh yeah they sold for 1770 they sold for full asking <laughs> i guess that's the important part asking 1770 yeah and they sold for full asking plus shipping here we go uh, another one of the world series jackets I had these for quite a while and this is the last one i had i believe it kept dropping the price this one got down to 2283 and that's what it sold for 2283 and this went to the west coast so this is the only one I'll tell shipping on. $22.05 for shipping on this. So total of $44.88 on the 2003 World Series jacket. 100th anniversary. It was pretty cool, but eh, I don't know if I'd get these again. Maybe if they're new with tags or something, you know. I'm, I still like the new with tags, even though I haven't been buying clothes a lot. Next up, these audio source in ceiling speaker set. These are the IC6S. These had um, very limited comps, if I remember correctly, when we bought these. And we only paid about $7.50 for these. And my wife had found them and threw them in the cart. And uh, a lot of times, stuff like this, she'll just wait for me to... We'll, we'll meet up later in the thrift store and I'll comp stuff that we're not sure about. And this is one of them. And I comped it. And I was like, I think these are okay. Um, one of them was brand new in the box. And the other one was brand new. It just didn't have the box. And uh, I've only had these a couple months I had them listed up for $72.07, uh, and somebody shot me an offer of $55 plus shipping, and I accepted. So that was a pretty quick, almost $50 profit on the audio source in ceiling speakers. 
Garmin, got to have your Garmin. Uh, these things. Okay, let me, a little story about Garmin's. This one I found pretty cheap. This was only like five bucks. It was complete. It had its box, the manual, the cords, the cables, the, you know, the unit itself, the mounting brackets. It had everything. It's like someone barely used this thing. But what's important here is this model number. You see this LM? That means it has lifetime maps. And that's what people want with these. If you find find the, these Garmin's, uh, make sure they're LM models, lifetime maps models, because that's what people want. They don't want things where they can't update the maps, you know, how everything changes. So make sure you look for the LM on the Garmin. This is a Garmin Nuvi 2555 LMT. Yep, like I said, complete in the box. Uh, didn't have much in it at all. Had it listed for $59.36, and that's what it sold for. Full asking plus shipping. Yep, out the door to the mailman Joe. See you later. Next up, the all... A printer. You can't sell printers, Uncle Mike. No one wants to buy old junky printers. Oh, but they do. They do. They do. Epson Stylus Photo R220 Digital Photo Inkjet Printer. Man, this is a good one. Brand new. Uh, the tape was opened. A lot of times I'll find these sealed with the tape sealed, and that's really awesome. But they sold this one open box, but this thing was brand new. Check out the pictures here. Yep. See the styrofoam, the packing, the uh, the plastic packing, and with the trays and the manuals. See how this printer is sealed in the plastic with the blue tape. That's key. Make sure it's sealed up with the blue tape in the plastic. Yep, there's the trial ink cartridges right there. The other set of ink cartridges. This was an inkjet with the 14,000 different ink cartridges that they want you to pay like 100 bucks a piece for. And all the other pictures. Yeah, this is brand new. This is awesome. I only paid about 10, 15 bucks for this like I normally do. I think the highest I pay is like 30 bucks for a printer. And I had this one listed for $161.43. And someone hit me with an offer of $150. And I accepted. Yeah, I'll take 10 bucks off. No problem. $150 plus shipping out the door. I like it. Next up, this Jameson Irish Whiskey Rail Runner. This bar spill mat. Had this thing forever. Only had like a buck in it. Uh, kept lowering the price. Got down to thirteen eleven. Someone shot me an offer of $9.50. And I accepted. Because I was about to purge this thing. And I'm glad they shot me the offer. And I'm glad to send it out to them. See you later, Jameson. Alright. The Taperlite Cosmetic Hard Case. This little suitcase. Kind of mid-century. This thing was pretty cool. Uh, we had about seven dollars and fifty cents into this thing, and it even had uh, it had really no issues on the outside. It was really nice. It had the key with it, the mirror. Yeah, check that out. There's the little insert and the key. Yep, yeah, right there. On the tray, it had been broken. It was broken when I when we bought it, and I pieced it back together and I glued it back together. But I made sure to take a good picture of that and you know put it in the description and everything. But we priced it accordingly. Uh, had this listed for $49.10. Someone shot me an offer of $41. And I accepted. $41 plus shipping for the nice little mid-century hard case. This cosmetics makeup case. Really cool. Next up is a little art pottery. This is a little bit on the lower end, the cheap end. Uh, a lot of times we sell art pottery and it can bring big money, but this one just wasn't that great, but it was okay. You know when I had a dollar into this thing? Uh, this pottery glaze bowl made in West Germany. A little polka dot, you know, trying to use all the descriptors. It was in good condition, no cracks, chips, anything like that. Had this listed for $13.11. Someone shot an offer of $10 and I accepted $10 plus shipping out of the storage bins and out to my mailman Joe. All right, last item. Already, Mike? No way. Yep, last item, number 20, the vintage. It had to be a coffee mug, right? You got to sell at least one coffee mug. Vintage 1983 Indianapolis 500's Tom Sniva. Sniva. <laughs> Sniva coffee cup. It has this 162.117 miles per hour. It, it's important that you go to the uh, thousandths place on the mile per hour. Not the tenths or the hundredths. you got to go to the thousandths. You know, that's important. But I got this. I remember this. This was in a haul video. Probably one of the first videos I did on eBay. So I may have had this thing 
for about a year. <laughs> That's how long this coffee mug took to sell. And uh, had only, you know, 50 cents in it. And had it listed for thirteen dollars and four cents, and that's what someone paid for it. Thirteen oh four plus shipping. Yeah, so we like that. Sent that out to them. I always like selling the coffee mugs. I like selling everything. Who doesn't like money in the bank? But anyway, that's it, guys. I want to thank everyone. I want to thank everyone for the super chats this morning. You guys are awesome, James and Karen and Denise this morning with the super chats. You guys are the best. Make sure you uh, hit up Patreon. We have a lot of specials going on for patrons, auction specials. And speaking of auctions, we'll schedule another auction for the last Sunday of June. I think it's June 30th. Ten days after my birthday. My birthday's coming up on June 20th. Yeah. I'll be old. I already am old. How can you be old if you already are old? But anyway, I digress. But that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the 20 items sold on eBay. Thanks to all of my old subscribers, new subscribers, and everyone in between. And we will see you guys soon with another haul video. Later.